Hi, it's me, Ingrid INFP. And um, I hate change. <laughs> okay. Um, I wish I were an INFP who uh, uh, like change, who uh, goes on adventures and, and you know, has a fun time, tries new things and, and stuff. But I'm, I just don't. I like being in my house with my things and doing the same thing. I don't like going and doing new things. And now I just found out that I will have to move in three months. So that sucks because I have moved around like eight times throughout my life, which uh, hasn't been a fun experience. Um, do not recommend zero out of ten. I just, I do not like uh, moving. I think that nobody really likes moving, but I like it, dislike it extra much, you know. Um, so, I, oh, this is the yarn I bought. So I'm kind of freaking out about life. Also, I've been having a pretty tough time today because I used up all of my energy yesterday with um, uh, basically uh, going out to meet some friends. And now I am without any energy. So, um, well... I um, I realized I do not like change. It's like sleeping and then waking up and you're in a, in a, a strange place, you know? I hate that. You w wake up on the wrong side of the bed and you're like, whoa, what's going on? Am I dreaming? What, what, where am I, you know? I don't like that feeling. And I was I was having such a great time planning, like, thinking about going on a trip somewhere, having a fun time this summer. But no, I have to do driving and move and um, I, my parents are being impossible. So it's like, I probably will have to go and uh, meet up with them instead. I don't want to go. I don't want to go meet up with them, you know? I sound like a brat and like I'm a person who who is privileged to get 25 days of holiday a year because I live in Sweden where that's the norm, which is weird that it's not a norm everywhere, you know, but uh, 25 days is not enough, you know, I'm a spoiled brat who just really, really needs like several months of a holiday in a year. Um, that was how I managed to not get burnt out for all these years. I mean, I was probably getting burnt out anyway, but I mean, the way that I was surviving was by having like three months between, <laughs> between each job, um, by focusing on one thing at a time, by like, you know, doing driving, um, between jobs uh, rather than like working and doing it at the same time like I don't have the energy I don't have the energy to learn to drive and have a job at the same time I just don't I wish I did but like I really don't um, and change just adds extra thing to the mix you know because I don't like it there's so much in the transition of moving that I dislike. Um, I just, I wish I could just, you know, stay here forever. And then, and there's always like this issue with dates when you move from one apartment to the other. It's like either you pay a double rent or you get a, a super expensive rental um, moving company so it's like you have to choose 
and you have to also do a lot of cleaning before you move and I suck at cleaning and I hate cleaning so I just feel bad today I just feel like I have no energy I did my laundry but it was like that was the only thing I managed to do today um, so now I'm making a video which I don't know why I'm doing this because this will probably take energy out of me but I can't stop myself once I start to make a video then it's like I can't I can't stop uh, myself from sitting down and making the video um, I also found out that I will be um, that I got a time at the um, uh, rehab a place for disabilities um, a clinic for a psychologist um, meeting uh, in uh, a month and a half um, to is the first visit to decide if they want to continue with an autism assessment or not which is a really stressful thing you know knowing that like it could be that they just meet you once and then they're like no you know, no, you do not have autism. Or yes, you absolutely have autism. Um, or like, oh, we should check it out, this out later. I've uh, been writing up a list of the things I have problems with, which, or that I notice about myself, which is quite long. It's not in any kind of order, but I do, I do struggle with a lot of things. And one of those things is change. Um, I get really, anxious about it and it's like I can't deal and I don't like dealing with time just in general um, when I have to catch a train I'm always there like super early uh, like if I'm there less than five minutes early I am I am stressed you know so I don't want to be stressed but it's just like I can't I can't understand how everybody manages to do this all the time. Um, I I guess that if I had some more support, like if I had people around that could um, help me, uh, then maybe things would be better. But still, still, I don't really know. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. It's just that it's like everything, every transition takes time and energy. And interacting with, um, you know, the electricity company, and all these adult things, you know, uh, the um, internet, the moving company. Um, you know, all of my money is also going to be going into moving now instead of going to a trip to Japan, which I really, really wanted to go. But I can't go um, because of all this driving schools costing extraordinary, exorbitant amounts of money. And I am... I... I'm not rich. I'm rich compared to other people. <laughs> but that's not saying a lot. Because these days everything costs so much money. And it's like just buying the groceries for the week is ridiculous. I used to get by with like, you know, 30, like 300 crowns a week, which is maybe like $30 a week um, for like foods and essentials. Uh, I definitely can't do that now. I mean, now it's like... I mean, then I was a student, you know, but... The rent of this place that I'm renting now is the rent that I had as a student. So it's approximately comparable. I'm extremely lucky to have found such a cheap place. Now, I mean, I'm looking at rentals that are double the price. Um, the food costs double as much. You know, maybe, I mean, now it's like, I don't even think I can live on 600 crowns a week, you know, instead of 300 crowns a week. Uh, I don't even think I can live on 600 
crowns a week for for food which is double the amount that I used to you know I mean that my my eating standards have become higher you know but still it, food shouldn't be costing twice as much as it did five years ago you know um, it's it's amazing it's crazy I'm probably not telling you anything new. You guys prob probably already noticed this. But um, it's like, I, I cannot live. I cannot survive. And, and now that I'm getting burnt out for not being able to work 11 months a year, basically. Um, yeah, I, uh, I am disabled apparently in this society that forces us to do these things it's like you know if, if society was a little bit like if, if, if the life was a little bit easier i wouldn't be disabled the disability comes from the expectations that are put on adults and the society is crazy and i always get kind of angry at people especially doctors, other doctors, who, who are like, you know, angry for writing sick leaves for their patients or, or like frustrated at people who cannot go back to work. Working is intense. And I think it was a number like only 20% of autistic people can work. And of course, that's counting all the, you know, uh, a lo like high support needs really autistic people um, but people with like high functioning autism it's not easy for them either but you know work life is hard for people who aren't on the spectrum so like what am I doing I can't I can't keep going like this um, I was talking to my INTJ friend and she was like, why do we choose this job? She said that if she had to redo it, she would like get a stable job at something boring, like become an, um, an accountant or something and just have the nine to five and have opportunity for a progression in her job and, and just like, live an okay life with like things on the side but i can't work and do everything at the same time but somehow i have to and it's like how are we how am i getting out of this terrible cycle <laughs> there is no way out uh and that's a pretty much a nightmare you know so i'm thinking maybe i need to take some like Take my all of my vacation days, um, separate it into having like two weeks and two weeks, um, so that I can like have a breather once in a while. Um, but also, I think I will have to take sick leave. Um, I I don't see how this is going to work. And I see my patients getting like. You know they're feeling approximately the same as i am and then they're like uh, they get six leaves for like three months at a time in psychiatry and i'm like what you know i i wish i could just take three months off but apparently i'm not sick enough or whatever i'm uh, i'm just a weak person for struggling basically. And I know I'm not the only person struggling with uh, how life is. And I think especially INFPs, we have a hard time with uh, work settings, I guess. Um, I think that every prep type can have a hard time. It's just that I think that maybe we INFPs like notice the, um, the problem more readily than some other types. I think INFJs uh, see the problem quite clearly, and INTJs too, and 
maybe more intuitive types, I guess, in general. Um, sensory types are are just like, well, okay, you know, that's that's life. Well, SJs at least. They're just like, well, that's the way things are. It's not really, you know, we're not going to go about and change the system. But yeah, so um, that was a lot of complaining. Um, I I do want to say that, um, like I'm I'm doing okay, but it's just the energy levels for doing all the things that I have to do. When I have anxiety, it's all so hard for me uh, because then I get also <laughs> depressed about everything that could that that is happening. Um, so I've, I've not done much today. I'm going to try to uh, get back to, um, maybe getting myself something to eat or <laughs> something of the sort. Um, and shower and just, um, ready myself for next week because next week is also a transition. I'm going to be going to uh, the um, the ward, just like ward, rather than uh, where I've been every day since uh, January, which is at the um, um, outpatient uh, clinic. Now I'm going to be like seeing people who are hospitalized, um, and it's quite a different way of working. And I don't like that I have to change. <laughs> I just don't like it. So um, we'll see how that goes. Um, I um, have HelloFresh uh, planned for uh, next week. So the videos might come out uh, the week after that. Um, I... I don't know. I probably will have to take some sick leave. Um, if not next week, sometime in March. Because uh, m my brain is fried, basically. I don't, I can't process information in the way that I can be. And I am very worried about getting burnt out again because I, that's the kind of symptoms I had when I got burnt out. So yeah. Um, have a great day, everybody. Bye.